Well, the Shawnee County Fair, it's going to kick off in the capital city later this morning. So the animals, the funnel cakes, the wristbands for rides. KCT News reporter James Ryan, he's going to do it all. He's live in central Topeka to tell us how this one, though, might be a little bit different than years past. Yes, David, organizers tell me that exhibition hall is actually still under contract to Stormont Vale Hospital until the end of the month, so they won't be able to use it or the atrium this year. This means that the Shawnee County Fair is going to be more spread out than it would be in years past. Organizers will be using Landon and Domer Arena like normal, but they will also have events spread out in Heritage Hall, Ag Hall, and the nearby Manor Conference Center for the first time. A lot of the stage events that we usually hold in Expo Hall are going to come up to the Manor Conference Center, where we're also going to have our 4-H photography displays, our vendors, our open class, and our, the trains are coming back this year, and they're going to be set up in Manor Conference Center as well. Animals started arriving at the fair last night and will continue throughout the early morning today. Organizers say the fair will be open to the public starting around 10. Now, the fair held to be, had to be held virtually last year due to the pandemic, so organizers are excited to be back and in person. And I know that everybody that takes part in the fair, from the kids to the old, older folks, they are so excited to show you what they have been working on, what they've been accomplishing. So definitely come on down and enjoy the fun. Live in Central Topeka, covering local news that matters. James Ryan, KSNT News. Young folks have certainly been putting in the work. There's no doubt with those animals. James, thank you so much for the live update. The Shawnee County Fair again runs today through Sunday. You can go to ShawneeCountyFair.org for the full schedule of events.